hello guys my name is Arsalan welcome back to my channel and today we guys are going to solve a new lead code question that is three consecutive odds so guys just before starting to solve this question please do subscribe to the channel hit the like button press the bell icon button and bookmark the playlist so that you can get the updates from the channel so guys what are we going to do here is just we will just start with reading the question that is given an integer array ar written true if there are three consecutive odd numbers in the array otherwise written false so we will be just reading the question uh, and some examples here that example number one states that there is an array two six four one so it is said that it's a false there are no th uh, three consecutive odds so what we will be searching here in the question here uh, array here is that we will be searching that it should contain three consecutive odds like one three five it's are the three consecutive uh, odds or one three seven but it should be consecutive odds like uh, in here uh, in example number one there is no consecutive odds so we can skip this uh, uh, example but here uh, you can see it's true so what condition is true here is that uh, you can see that 5 7 23 are consecutive odds these three number are odds and they are coming consecutively so if i say that this is uh, ARI this is this should be ARI plus 1 and this should be ARI plus 2 so <coughs> i will just uh, uh, create a logic where i will just checking any value of i and and that should be an odd value and if it's an odd value their next is the next value should be i plus one and that should be also odd and the next value <coughs> after that it should be i plus two that should also be odd so this is the logic we are going to apply here so guys if you have not subscribed to the channel please do subscribe to the channel hit the like button press the bell icon button and bookmark the playlist so that you can get the updates from the channel so let's move to our coding section and create this logic uh, so first of all i will just create a loop for let for i in uh, range len arr if so basically we are we are i'm just looping through uh, till um <coughs> i will be just looping through uh len arr minus two just because i have to check for three values so i will be just not looping through it completely i will just check it for the len arr minus two so here's the length of air is four and i will just loop it through air len arr which means that uh len arr is four minus two will be two so i will be just looping till these two values and <coughs> checking for this <coughs> so now let's create a logic here if arri uh, divided by uh I, I will just uh, saying that uh, mod uh, if it's not divisible divisible by two then it's an odd value I don't know what you what uh, I know that many of you understand what odd value are odd value are that uh, which are not divisible by two like one three five seven etc so i will be just checking for the values in array arri if it's not divisible by two then it's a true statement that it's an odd value so uh, if this is true then i will check for next value and arri plus one arri plus one will be my next value the next consecutive value there will be my arri plus one if it's divisible by two if it's also divisible by two and the next value coming after that should also be divisible by 2 that is my arri plus 2 is not equal to 0 return true return false now let's run this code and check for an answer So see that our answer has been accepted successfully and this was the logic we have applied. Let me brief, brief you through the question the, what we have applied the logic here. Uh, so guys what we have done here is we have just uh, started from a loop here uh, from i 
till the length of ARR minus two. And then was then what we have taken, we have taken a if condition here that we have checking for an odd value. If any value of I or any value in ARR that is divisible by not divisible by two is our odd value. And if it's not divisible by two, that means it's odd value. And the next value should also be not divisible by two. Next two uh, values should not be divisible by two. That is ARR I plus one and ARR I plus two. If this is this condition false to be true then just return me true else it is false so that you guys this is the logic we have applied here i hope that you have understood this question and if you have if you have still not understood this question ask me in the comment section i will try to sort it out thank you guys for watching this video and see you next time